Test days in supercars are crucial, especially when you consider each team only gets three for the year. With one day already used in Sydney prior to the season getting underway, this week teams, including Tickford Racing, are hitting the track. Bottolo Racing's Mark Winterbottom has won podium this year and he's looking to find the much needed edge to be consistently at the front. It's not only just the ultimate lap time, it's tunability of the car, so lots of things we go through. Um, it's a bit of a, it's a massive day, we do more laps today than we do at a race meeting, so your head sort of gets a bit um, you know, out of control with changes and, and feedback and, and stuff like that, but um, ultimately we learn and that's what our sport's about, you never stop learning and hopefully we're learning the right stuff. After competing in a GT race in France at the weekend, Chaz Mostert was keen to get straight back into it aboard his super cheap auto racing Ford. Been pretty conservative a little bit this year, just trying to maximise the results of what we had, but yeah, we've been definitely been struggling a little bit this year than what we were last year. So today is very critical for turn our championship round for the year, so we'll see how we go. The test comes just a week prior to the next round in Darwin, and Monster Energy Racing's Cameron Waters is keen to get hot in the top end. Darwin's always good to, to go to. Obviously, the weather up there is um, absolutely awesome, and the whole vibe around the place is great. So uh, for me, I love going there, and um, yeah, I'm really excited to go there. In his first full-time season in the Supercar Series, Richie Stanaway has been making steady progress as part of the four-car Tickford racing operation. Every track has its different demands that it needs from the car and it's, it's all been stuff I've been taking in. You know, It's, it's been quite a unique uh, sample of circuits so far and then obviously Darwin will be a, a different one again. So um, it's been interesting for me to just kind of take that all in. The lessons learnt will be put into practice at the Darwin Triple Crown, which gets underway on Friday, June 17.